8. Mess Anak A massive Buddhist complex in Afghanistan is under attack, and archaeologists are in a race against time to save its treasures. For almost 10 years, a team of both Afghan and international archaeologists have been racing to save thousands of Buddhist statues, manuscripts, coins, and holy monuments at the site of Mess Anak before local violence puts the treasures at risk. Known for roadside bomb, rocket attacks, kidnappings, and murders, the area south of Kabul is home to something more spectacular, a sprawling Buddhist complex that dates to between the 3rd and 8th centuries AD. But it isn't only local violence that puts these artifacts at risk. A huge mining operation on behalf of the Afghan government, who wants to tap into a massive load of copper ore buried beneath the ruins, could obliterate an important part of history. Believed to be one of the world's largest untapped deposits with over 12 tons of copper, it has caught the attention of the Afghan government, who hope to secure it and the future of the country. For decades, cultural heritage advocates have known about the wealth in Mess Anak, not just monetarily, but in the importance of the ancient treasures waiting to be excavated and recorded. But local looters started to pluck out some of the treasures, adding yet another threat to preserving the history of the area. In 2007, the Chinese won right to extract the copper there on a 30-year lease worth more than $3 billion. With the promise to build infrastructure for the underdeveloped district, the Afghans left at the opportunity to receive a $1.2 billion infusion into the local economy. But one can't help but wonder if the price tag is worth the risk of potentially damaging the unearthed treasures. 7. Scarabray on the west coast of mainland Scotland, an archipelago known as the Scarab Bray is the most complete Neolithic village in northern Europe. Once home to farmers who lived there between 3200 BC and 2500 BC, Scarab Bray is older than both the Great Pyramid and Stonehenge. It is so well preserved, some have nicknamed it the Scottish Pompeii. In 1850, a fierce storm battered the archipelago, which resulted in a high tide and storm winds that washed away the sand and grass from the large mound. As luck would have it, the storm also uncovered the outlines of a number of stone buildings, and after numerous expeditions, a total of eight buildings were unearthed, allowing visitors to see how Scarabray looked nearly 5,000 years ago. Using turf for the roofs, the homes were originally constructed into pre-existing mounds and included a central hearth and a stone fish tank to hold bait. With a number of houses connected by low-covered passages, the remaining buildings are decorated simply with beds, dressers, and seats built entirely from stone. During excavations, archaeologists found volcanic pumice used by villagers to create stone tools that had washed up on the beach from Iceland. They also found jewelry made from bone and ivory, cups and bowls made from whale and dolphin bones, and various other items including pendants, gaming dice, knives, and shovels. The inhabitants of the island also made a type of pottery known as grooved ware that had decorative group grooves carved into the objects. Coming to an end around 2500 BC, the settlement dissolved when the villagers abandoned their homes due to some type of disaster which archaeologists believe may have been due to the spray from salt water that destroyed their farms over time. Today, visitors can walk through a reconstructed home and see a number of relics at the visitor center to see how the inhabitants of Scarabray once lived. 6. Urkesh, Syria For years, Syria has been marked by death, despair, and destruction due to poverty and war. However, a dedicated group of locals are trying to protect an important archaeological site. Known as Tel Mozan, a high mound that towers nearly 90 feet above the plains and 3 miles from the Turkish border, is the location of a unique urban society that sprang up in southern Mesopotamia. Believing that city life first developed in the area around 3500 BC before spreading north, archaeologists conducted multiple excavations despite local violence and war playing out around them. As a dozen men worked to not only secure and maintain the fragile mud brick walls of the ancient settlement, a lost city was uncovered. The city that was important to a group of people who later influenced the Hittite Empire, the sacred ancient city of Urkesh. Researchers uncovered a stone lion in the religious sanctuary that was remarkably similar to two bronze lions that are now in the Louvre and the Metropolitan Museum in New York. The two lions each have the inscription, the king of Urkesh built the temple of the lion. Could that temple be Tel Mozan? Perhaps not entirely convinced yet, 
excavators found more evidence of the importance of the site, which included a treasure trove of personal seal impressions that read, Chupkish King of Urkesh. The seals dated to about 2250 BC, with others mentioning his queen Ugnitam, royalty from the Akkadian Empire who controlled much Mesopotamia at the time. More recent excavations unearthed seal impressions and ceramics in the corner of a building that radiocarbon dates to about 3500 BC, which is also the same time as the first monuments were being built in southern Mesopotamia. As the workers continue to probe deeper into the mound, they are getting closer to Syria's past and uncovering the ancient city before it can be completely ruined. What else do you think archaeologists could find? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. 5. Persepolis Known as the home of the King of Kings for nearly 200 years, Persepolis was built on a massive elevated terrace with a series of royal palaces. At the time, no fortifications were needed. Instead, 10,000 guards served at the pleasure of the emperor, guarding the palaces. The city was once the capital of the Persian Empire from 500 BC until 330 BC. Today, it is a site with the ransacked ruins of a once elaborate place. Originally stretching from Greece to India, the capital of the Persian Empire was built by Darius and his sons Xerxes the Great. Today, however, the ruins now rest at the foot of the Mountain of Mercy in southwestern Iran and are considered among the world's greatest archaeological sites. Renowned for its architecture, planning, and art, the royal city of Persepolis included palatial buildings including the Apadana Palace and the Throne Hall. There were once lavish receptions and festivals of kings and their empire. Various sculptures like gigantic winged bulls, throne rooms, and stunning views hosted warriors and guards, dignitaries and tribute bearers. Even though the ruins of Persepolis are not as decorated as they used to be, evocative reliefs still survive with symbols of supplicants bringing gifts to the king and massive royal tombs cut into the adjacent mountainside. Sadly, Persepolis was sacked and burned by Alexander the Great in 333 BC. As Persian dominance ended, Alexander spread Greek culture all the way to India, leaving Persepolis in ruins. 4. Ciudad Perdida Hidden deep in the jungle of the Sierra Nevada in the Santa Marta Mountains in Colombia, the lost city of Ciudad Perdida sits in the lush green vegetation. Built more than 1,000 years ago, the archaeological site was only uncovered in the 1970s and since then has become a major attraction in Colombia. Often compared to Machu Picchu, the lost city is perched on a hillside and tucked into the South American rainforest. The site is actually 600 years older than Machu Picchu and the only way to get there is on a brutal multi-day hike. Following dirt paths past large banana trees and towering palms, the 29-mile trek ascends and descends over small mountains. Snaking along the Rio Buritaca, the trail brings visitors through farming regions in an area known for its warring cartels and guerrilla groups. With various stone terraces carved into the slopes of the rugged mountains, a lush forest offers a stunning backdrop to the lost city. Until 1972, this gem remained hidden until looters, who were following the stone steps of the site, pulled back overgrowth to find gold jewelry and priceless ceramics. It took years of pillaging before the Colombian government would protect the archaeological site, and since then, they've helped to reconstruct the ancient city. It was once home to over 2,000 people. The lost city was built by farmers and potters who carved the terraces into the hillside some 18,700 feet above sea level. Before Spanish conquistadors arrived in the late 16th century, ancestors of the indigenous groups that live there today carved 1,200 stone steps that led up to the lost city, where oval-shaped terraces sat high within the jungle canopy. This pre-Columbian city, built around 800 AD, is sacred to the four tribes who descended from the Tehrona people and who inhabited the lost city before the conquistadors forced them to flee. Even though the city was rediscovered in 1975 by the outside world, Descendants of the ancient people had been and continue to make regular pilgrimages to this stunning site to this day. 3. Havalsi Would it surprise you to know that a prominent Viking settlement was discovered in South Greenland? It's known as Havalsi, and the site was once considered an important gathering point for the Norse, who settled in an eastern settlement and arrived by horseback, by ship, or sometimes by foot. At one time, a church was located at the site, 
with the last wedding taking place in 1408. Remnants of the church still linger on the hillside, with evidence that it was built over an older medieval graveyard. Today, high stone walls with some of the stones weighing up to 5 tons still stand some 16 to 19 feet high. There's also stables originally brought from Iceland, covered with turf that could hold up to 20 horses. Before Columbus had even thought about finding a new, shorter route to India, Norse settlers had established communities in Greenland. Havalsi, a farmstead in the eastern settlement, was the largest of three Viking settlements there. Norse farmers from Iceland settled in about 985. Vikings in Greenland built the Havalsi church during the 12th century to serve the Christians living in the nearby area. At its peak, the Havalsi parish included a church as well as 14 other buildings which may have included storehouses, homes, a banquet hall, and residential complex. Even though the wooden interior and the roof no longer exist, the Havalsi church and the other building remnants offer a glimpse into the past of Greenland and the settlers who abandoned it. 2. Calakmul, Mexico 22 miles from the Guatemala border, a remote UNESCO site known as Calakmul sits among a vast jungle. Taking its name from the Mayan words for two and adjacent, Calakmul is known as the city of two adjacent pyramids. This makes sense, right? Existing for 12 centuries, the city is located in the southern area of the state of Quintana Roo in the middle of the Mayan region. It was once the largest and most powerful city in the coalition between the Mayan settlements of El Mirador, Nac Bay, and Uax Acton. Calakmul and its other counterparts often found themselves in conflict with its southern neighbors, specifically the Tikal in Guatemala. At one time, the city had 50,000 inhabitants and 6,700 structures over a 27-square-mile site. Calakmul was so powerful that it was said to have influence over settlements as far as 90 miles away. Built similarly to Koba in the Yucatan, the city had a main plaza that led up to 20 secondary urban centers and is thought to have had more structures than any other mine settlements in the region. Various large platforms made up the central plaza, with a number of buildings spread throughout. Two pyramids make up the main structure of the site, with one stretching 130 feet and the other 150 feet, one of the tallest Maya pyramids ever discovered. Inside, nine royal tombs have been located, with rich artifacts like jade masks uncovered. Large water reservoirs can also be visited at the site, with many figures sculpted in stone and plaster. Over 100 stele commemorative stone slabs can be found at the remote ruins. It's no surprise that such a large urban area would be under attack, with frequent fighting taking place between Kalakmul and the people of Tikal. The city would fall to the Tikal in 700 AD, and eventually it was abandoned and overtaken once again by the surrounding jungle. 1. Taxila Another World Heritage Site, this time located in Pakistan, Taxila is found in Punjab. Dating back to the 5th century BCE, the city is known as the center of Buddhism in the country, with many statues of Buddha in various stages of his life unearthed over the years. Countless stupas or dome-shaped Buddhist shrines still remain, with one located at the highest peak in the area, as well as others included in a complex of chapels and monasteries. Mesolithic caves and the archaeological remains of four early settlement sites have also been unearthed there, showing how the ancient people evolved over five centuries. Other sites show the prehistoric importance of the site, with evidence that the area was inhabited during the Neolithic, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. The Beer Mound contains some of the oldest ruins from ancient Taxila. Excavated from 1913 to 1925, the ruins of the town show the haphazard layout of the narrow city streets and houses that had no windows. Further excavations uncovered a hoard of over 1,100 coins, including a number of Achaemenid coins from Persia and Greek coins, both from the 5th and 4th centuries. Its location made it vulnerable to the elements, with an extreme tropical climate and earthquakes that still pose a threat to the remaining ruins. Sadly, as the mound was excavated, not much care was taken in recording the finds. Later excavations of the site were done more carefully, with glass, carnelian, and agate beads located, as well as other gemstones such as amethyst and garnet. In 326 BCE, Alexander the Great conquered the area, resulting in Taxila later losing its independence and becoming a provincial capital instead of the hub for trade between eastern India, western Asia, and Kashmir. As the trade routes declined, so too did Taxila's importance, before finally being destroyed in the 5th century CE. Thanks for watching. 
What do you think of these lost cities that have been rediscovered? Would you like to visit any of them? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.